Okie dokie. Okay, I've only got a few minutes before I have to go take a a business phone call. Um to kind of give a quick update and kind of show a little bit of an open hoons quick tip. A lot has been accomplished in the last couple days, so I'm just going to actually scan through this real quick. I'll just hit the play button. You can see that um there's been quite a few shots done. Got a little effect here, anime kind of thing. This was done in Blender. Blender, Blender, Open Tunes, Open Tunes. Not sure what that flickering is all about. So, working out the timing here was definitely fun. Uh, and the sound effects clearly are going to help a lot. Okay. So that's that's all that's kind of sort of new with the video edit. Um, so we're here in Open Tunes, and what I did was, th in, on this particular shot, I really had just these two keyframes. So the question became, how do you create a tween here? So the way I did that was, first of all, I duplicated the frame. So this was actually the original keyframe. So I just went here and hit the D key in the shadows and in the ink and paint layer or level so that now I've got a duplicate so what I did was now what I want to do is I want to try to create a tween between this shot and this shot with as little change with having to draw as little as possible just to uh, you know reduce the possibility of any kind of chatter this is a tween that's only going to be on twos so it's going to go by really fast so the main thing is to get the positioning of the individual components where they need to be well fortunately the the character is separate from the background so it makes it fairly easy to uh, cut this guy up into pieces so that's what I did I basically just erased between these pieces so that I could get at them all and the the part of the drawing that's on the chopping block is his costume because that's the easiest thing to reproduce um, by simply uh, let's see, I could hit the G key to sample this and then hit the V key and immediately just start drawing back in the, you know, so that's pretty brain dead. Um, no problem at all, except the, the problem is, and I want to erase that because we need to get a tween position on his head as well. Okay. So I, w I don't want his head, uh, that high for this shot. So then I just take the S key to select this piece. And why don't we just turn it a little bit and sneak it up, okay? Yeah, there you go. That's a nice tween. And now to finish up the, can't believe it's so easy, you know, to finish up, all I have to do is just block in the, the costume. And I'm actually going to let the, believe it or not, let the background serve as my ink right there. Just a little bit. And I can always go back in and chop in some lines as well, but basically, oh, I want the V key, not the B key. I'm using the so called paintbrush, not the so called brush. Okay. So that's that. Let's see how we're doing on time. 9.50. Yeah, I got a call coming in at 10 o'clock, so. Gonna have to split here pretty quick. Okay, feeling pretty good about that. Now I'm gonna turn the cast shadow level back on and I'm going to say we can leave that alone. Now let's turn the body shadow on and that's gonna be pretty fouled up, yes. So let's go here. I would say let's just erase the darn thing. Let's make the eraser as big as we can make it and Let's just erase it and start over. Okay. B key. And then what we want to do is I'm just gonna just draw around this and then we'll we'll just do a fill operation and that'll be that. I think give it a crack because when 
Okay, so it looks to me like the... It looks to me like the... Uh, that's kind of interesting. First of all, there's some screwiness in the cast shadows level because it looks like like a silly goose. I put some cast shadows on the body, which was not correct. Okay, so let's just see what's going on here. Okay, so we do have the the body shadow correctly masked, which means when we render the it's clamped to the edges of the character. The cast shadows obviously cannot be clamped. Um, so let's turn the body shadows off just so it's not... Con actually, let's turn it off here so it's not confusing things. Yes, and then what we want to do is see what's going on with the body shadow level here, here, here. So yeah, for some, it's just on this frame. So let's hit the erase key and just erase that. There's, there's none of this should be here. I'm not quite sure what happened there, but no big deal. And as long as we're here, I can see a little error right there. So that's cool. All right, I think that did the trick. We can turn on the body shadow and the cast shadow again and hit the rewind key and Okay, so now the only question really would be one of do we want to have a fourth key? I think not. I'm going to go ahead and render it. That's that. We're going to save it as a in the render folder. We're just numbering our shots, so this would be number 94. Yeah, the show's up to about, well, it's over five minutes now. Anyway... Okay, and now we'll go transition back to here. And it looks like that is done rendering. So I'm going to go to my shots. And in my other screen, I do see number 94. And we pop it right in there and then sort of get that. Mm, definitely needs a curves modifier. It's just a little on the light side which is true with most of this most of the show there's a few shots through here that we can see definitely needed the the curves and I didn't put them in so as long as I'm here and I'm thinking about it curves one two three looks like this one has curves on it but still seems a bit bright to me. Okay. And we'll let it play out, I suppose, from there. She takes a swipe. Boom, boom, boom. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, so I think we're getting to the point where, uh, you know, I'm feeling pretty good about the entertainment value in the show. Uh, but there's a long way to go. Obviously, this is the first five minutes of a 24-minute episode, of which apparently two episodes are already written. So, with that, I will say adios so I can go take my phone call in four minutes. And uh, you know there's going to be more later.